Vision and the slip and slide street stocks. Once again, this is Hot Country 103.9 FM CFQM night here at the Speedway. Celebrity race to cap out the program tonight. Also co-sponsored by Good Time Oldies, CKCW 1220 on your AM dial. Lots of racing, exciting action here week by week throughout the summer months. Every Sunday night at 6 p.m. coming up next week, of course, it's Lounsbury Chevrolet's Geo Night here at the Speedway. Full program of Sportsman Street Stock Competition. Then two weekends away. Mark this one on your calendar, folks. Double weekend, the 32nd Annual International here at Riverglade Speedway on Saturday night at 6 p.m. Stock Division. Then on Sunday afternoon at 6 p.m. The Budweiser International Twin 100s for the late model sportsman division. That's just two weekends away here at the Speedway, the 32nd Annual International. All brought to you by Linus Roofing and Siding and Budweiser. The overall excitement, and on behalf of Pat and Shelly Rogers, we'd like to make you welcome here this evening. If you're visiting the track for the first time, glad to have you on board. Hope to see you again next week here at the Speedway. And tomorrow's Times transcript of the month to complete right up on the racing activities here at the Speedway. Straight stock qualifier number one. The slip and slide straight stock division coming at you out of turn number four. On the pole position, car number 24. The only female competitor in the straight stock division, Kathy Trites of Salisbury Service Center Pontiac. Outside, the Caledonia Waste Removal Automobile number 27 for Dan Chapman. Inside, row number two. All the way from Amherst, Nova Scotia, Sandy Livingston Jr. The 75 is Eugene Wigo. The 66 is Dave Harrison. Jim Tays in the 41. The 92 is Jim Beeman in the 20 is the amazing Azor Glant. Ten lap qualifier for the straight stock division. They'll rev them up in the 3 4 turn. Kathy Trice on the point of number four. We're going racing. Dan Chapman snaps the early lead in the 27. Chevrolet down the back straight away with Eugene Weigel in second. Kathy Trites is third in the 24. Jim Day for the green machine looking for racing room on the outside. Chapman completes lap number one as the leader. Eugene Weigel in second, and Jim Tays now goes to work on Kathy Trites. Tays is side by side, but Trites through the 3 4 here in the battle is for third position. Eugene Weigel in the 75, and now the amazing Azor Galan in third position. Jim Beeman in the 92 is fourth, the battle now for fifth, still between Kathy Trice on the inside of the 24, and the 41 automobile for Jim Tay. Rookie competitor Dan Chapman is hooked up and hauling the mail in the street stock division. Eugene Beagle Weagle about to give way to Azor Galant on the outside as the halfway flags are up this time by. Five complete, five to go this time by. Chapman, your leader. Livingston off the face in the 12. Chapman, your leader, at the strike. Galant in second. Jim Beeman up to third. Eugene Weagle is back to fourth. Jim Tays now clearly in the fifth position. in the Caledonia Wage Store machine number 27. Popsicle sticks are up this time by. We are eight complete and two to go. Eight down, two to go this time by. 
four, Galat Solomon in second, Jim Beeman is in third, Eugene Weagle in fourth, and Jim James caps up the top five as the white flag comes down, nine complete, one to go this time by. Nine down, one to go, rookie Dan Chapman on the move. Checker flag is down, a rookie Dan Chapman takes it home in the number 27 Chevrolet Malibu. So Chapman will head for the line as Azor Glant, Jim Beeman, and Eugene Weagle head back to the garage area, finishing in that order with Jim Taze capping out the fifth position. Seven. And Dan is sponsored by Caledonia Waste Oil in a price is limited. Elvin Sides, Preferred Environment, A1 Sewage Limited, MacArthur's Paving, and McDonald's Paving as well. And we'll go to qualifier number two with Boucher on the point momentarily as Chapman completes his honor lap around the speedway in the number 27 automobile. The Caledonia Way Store Machine in victory. That's a good hand for him one more time. Dan Chapman, your race winner. Second straight stock qualifier as these cars compete to qualify for tonight's CFQM CKCW feature out of turn number four, Bob Boucher on the point. They'll wrap them up. Green is down. We're going racing. Tight back through the one-two turn. Boucher with a slight lead down the back straightaway. Potter goes to work in the five with Charlie Lewis in the two. Boucher now trying to stretch out a lead on lap number two. Potter comes along in the five. Matthews in the 43 now up to third. And Brian Quinlan in the nine is on the move. with the entire rest of the field trying to take that spot away from Steve Potter. And the cross flags are up this time on a turn number four, halfway complete. We're five down and five to go. Five laps complete, five to go. Bob Boucher, your race leader. Look at Quinlan in the night. Quinlan on the inside of Potter. Chevrolet versus Chevrolet, Quinlan on the inside, Potter on the outside. Ryan Quinlan now moving up into second position. Puts away Potter, but Potter fights back on the outside, and Jill is here in the 95, looks for room behind Potter. Number four, the popsicle sticks are up. We are eight laps complete and two to go. Eight down, two to go. Straight stock qualifier number two. And Bob Boucher, Brian Quinlan, one and two with the battle for third between Jill Lazier and the 95. Steve Potter in the five of the year gets it around the three four turn. White flag is down. Charlie Lewis tops the quarter panel of the 95 and Potter has screeched to a halt up on the wall of the three four turn. So caution out on the speedway in the waning laps of this second qualifier. As several cars mix it up in the 3-4 turn, 
And Potter was able to refire the Marshall Cabinet Steve tire machine. And heads back into the fray one more time. We'll realign the field, try this all over again one more time. Be sure to pick up your copy of this evening's souvenir program. Inside, you have the opportunity to vote for your most popular driver, courtesy of the Driveline Specialist Auto Service Repair. Also, you can vote for your best-looking car of the year in both sportsman and straight stock divisions, courtesy of Hub City Auto Paints in the Moncton Industrial Park. And, of course, if you're a Pee Wee fan, be sure to fill in your contest ballot form. You may be tonight's Eastern Sports winner. So be sure to pick up your copy of the souvenir program. All ballots must be deposited in the white ballot box right down by the starter stand. Ryan Quinlan outside the front row. It's Legere and Hughes in row number two. Oblinas and Charge and Charlie Lewis in row number three. Eight down, two to go. This time out of number four for the one racing. Shea on the inside, Quinlan on the outside. It's a side-by-side -side drag race through the 3-4 turn. Boucher by a fender, almost takes up Quinlan at number four. Boucher a little loose in the 72, regains control. And neither car, none the worse for wear as Quinlan comes back one more time on the outside. Boucher on the inside, Quinlan on the outside. Watch the action at number four. was a fine burner as Quinlan nipped him out of number four. Top rank for Boucher. He did all he could to hold Quinlan off. Super exciting straight stock racing action here at River Glade Speedway. The oval of excitement. Wait. Checkered flag in hand. Well earned victory for the Gallagher Ridge driver for the Trans Tech MFM Ministries Chevrolet Automobile number nine. comes checkered flag in hand let's hear it for him one more time as Gary Ward heads trackside to take the pictures Brian Gallagher make that Brian Quinlan of Gallagher Ridge I'll be okay folks spent a million dollars brain now my mouth won't work <laughs> Keith Lewis, Aaron's little boy, is on the point. Out of number four, we're going to go racing. Johnny Comfort snaps the early lead in the one-two turn in the five automobile. Right on his rear bumper, the Smurf Lloyd kind of pushes the Ford 02 right to the outside of Comfort to the three-four turn. Bilbert a little loose in the 19, try to hang on the wall first time around. Bilbert may be just a little bit rusty, but I'm sure he's going to get it before the night's over as Smurf Garnet heads for the lead down the back straightaway. Comfort on the inside, Garnet on the outside, and say Oldsmobile versus Chevrolet battle. Make that Oldsmobile versus Ford, and the Ford comes away the winner. Lloyd Garnet in the Thunderbird, 0-2, down the back straightaway. Johnny Comfort in second, Herman Berry in third, Don White in fourth in the 92. Dan Burton solidly in the fifth position in the 15 car. And Lloyd Garner leads him and trying to stretch it a lead down the back straightaway. Comfort in second, Herman Berry Jr. is third. The battle now for fourth is Dan Burke looks to the outside of the 15 car. Hilbert still struggling to gain control of the 19 car. Pointed the ON sports machine to the wall a couple of times. Halfway flags up this time around. Out of number four, we are five complete, five to go. Your race leader.
race leader, Herman Barry in second, being challenged by Dan Burke in the 15. Burke in third, looking for second. Checkered flag this time by Lloyd. Smurf Garden takes it home. Barry for second. Burke for third. White will come home to fourth. And Dave Milburn runs in the top five as these cars qualify for tonight. Lloyd Garden taking his honor lap around the speedway. Don't forget, coming up tonight to end the program, it's Celebrity Time, Sandy Gillis, better known as Jimmy the Janitor, Gare Maxwell, as well as Dan Martin, Barton, rather, JR from CFQM, Steve Power, Scotty Horseman, Bert. in the 78 is Adam Pond, the Moncton Auto Auction Machine, in the 50, the Hillcrest Towing Automobile, number 50 for Dan Duke, the 40 is Bill McLean, and on turn number four, one more time, we're going sportsman racing. Beeman claims the early lead through the 1-2 turn. Paul Lewis right on the inside, the second row. Doing battle with the 51 automobile of Norm's right there. campaigner like Paul Lewis, and he will put the faucets to it, center machine up in front, and he can do it at all. Watch the inside line of veteran Paul Lewis in the 62. Works the low line under L.Z. Beeman in the 14. It is a side-by-side -side battle. No driver with the clear advantage. Jerry Bernard is a 33, looking for racing room, really doesn't have any place to go, waiting for these front two drivers to make a mistake, but there's a lot of experience up on the front row. veteran campaigner of 31 years of experience shows the way down the back straightaway. L.C. Beeman in second. Jerry Bernard in third. Norm Dryden in fourth. Adam Pond is fifth. It's Dan Duke and Bill McLean rounding out the field. Paul Lewis down the back straightaway. Out of turn number four. Two to go. This time by. Hang on to your seat, Willie, and here he comes on a number four. is third, Norm Dryden fourth, and Adam Pond caps out the top five. So Dan Duke and Bill McLean will have to come through semi-final competition to make their way to the feature. for him one more time. Paul Lewis in the 62. The Orange Crate is in victory lane. Next round qualifier. We'll have the birthday machine on the point. Happy birthday. Jim Nunham on the point. Terry Charters outside. Ken Brace gives him a look out of number four. Third heat. We're going racing. The 
Best of the quick, and Jim Dunham leads them down the box straight away in the double four. Bubba's in the 55, looking for racing room. He's right on the rear bumper of the 48 of Dave Oblinos. Mullins coming back after a terrible crash up in turn number four a few weeks ago. The crew put the car back together and it's flying once more. Jim Nunham, your leader in the Ford number 44, the Pontiac of Dave Oblinas in second, another Pontiac for Dave Mullins in third. Mercury number 44 shows the way out of turn number two. Rookie Dave Oblinas in second, Dave Mullins is third. Rating point champion Ken McKenzie in fourth, Chargers is fifth, halfway flies are up this time around. Five down at the stripe, five to go. Five complete, five to go. The Ford Automobile for Jim Dunham trying to make it two fours in victory lane in the first three rounds of qualifying. Now trying to put the pressure on your race leader, Jim Dunham. Double flags are up for eight complete, two to go. Jim Dunham, Dave Oblinas, it's not over till it's over. The white flag is up this time on turn number four. trying to take home the win in the double fours heads down the back straight away for the final time a bleed right on his rear bumper they head through turn number four out the front straight away taking it home jim dunham a bleed settles for second dave bubbins is third ken mckenzie home to fourth and roger sears narrowly nips terry charters at the line for fifth So Jim Dunham takes his honor lap around the Oval of Excitement, River Blade Speedway, the double four automobile, the headed for victory lane, checkered flag in hand. And once again, he is sponsored by Albert County Muffler, Pro Signs, Ross's Ultramar, Hollis Lincoln Mercury to some of the sponsors in that fine Ford automobile. But a good weekend for the Fords as Dale Jarrett brought it home to victory yesterday in Indianapolis. Is going out to some lucky winner. We've got that for you in the tower. An orange ticket, 27 trying to make it two in a row here in the street stock division. They slip and slide and tippy toe down the back straightaway. Eugene Weagle in second, Kathy Trites is third. Livingston off the pace, almost gets KO'd by the 20 of Azor Deland. Livingston in the 12 off the pace, the Gogans lawn care machine. And Dan Chapman having it his way out in front. Several cars come together. And Kathy Trites and Harrison come together over in turn two. Harrison gets the worst of it. And Caution will come out on the speedway.
We have a couple of vehicles in the west end parking lot area. If you're parked down off of the one-two turn. And we have a little confusion on these vehicles, what they are, but their headlights are on. We have a blue 4x4 four four pickup. Not sure of the make. And also... Dan Chapman on the inside, Eugene Weagle on the outside, Azor Glant inside too, Sandy Livingston Jr. outside the second. We have a red Nissan 4x4, we finally narrowed it down, and a blue Chevrolet Chevette, well we were close, a blue Chevrolet Chevette and a red Nissan 4x4, your headlights are on. Once again, please check in with the gate attendant. You'll be allowed to re-enter without paying. Looks like we could get a green. No, we've got a caution flag staying out. Public car is not quite in line. And once again, on behalf of the Salisbury Lions, we thank you very much for participating in our 50-50 draw this evening. Once again, our congratulations to Rich Willis out of Oakville, Ontario. We appreciate your patronage of the Salisbury Lions 50-50 draw. All proceeds go to the fine volunteer work of the Salisbury Lions Club. You've got a chance to swim in their pool. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Green flag is down. Dan Chapman on the point for the restart. Eugene Weagle on the outside through the one-two turn. Azor Glant right there in third in the 20. Second win of the evening, Ezra Gallant at second place, closing in on the rear of the 27 car. We're going to be halfway this time around, halfway down, for Dan Chapman in the 27 on top. Eugene Weagle is third, take battle right now for fourth place between Beeman and the 66 car up front. Ezra Gallant halfway through, challenging for first place. Gets down low, almost loses control down the front shoot as Azor Glenn in the 20. Gets down underneath, 27, Dan Chapman on the back shoot. Challenging for the first place position. Chapman closes the door in turn three. Coming out of four, Glenn has the low line around as they cross the line. Chapman on top. Glenn in second place. Makes the move down low on the back shoot. The short way around on the inside. And Dan Chapman hung out the drive with two and all. Azor Gallant taking the lead with two laps remaining in the street stock. Semi final events. Jim Beeman has moved up to third place. Eugene Regal relegated to fourth. One more time as the white flag comes down for Azor Gallant. Checkered flag as they pass, pass Kathy Kreitz on the inside. Checkered flag for Azor Gallant in the 20 car. Coming all the way from Shediac, driving the Malibu to victory tonight in the second street stock. Event this evening. If Kevin Griffin is with us this evening, could you please come to the tower? Last week's Pee Wee fan, Kevin Griffin, if you're with us this evening, would you please come to the tower? The future fast freight, CC Lounge, Francis, Plumbing and Heating, Pizza Delight, Metro Mart, Chevelle Malibu, Avizor Gallant, coming to the line to have his photo taken by our official track photographer. Inside, last week's feature winner, 95.5, is Jules Azure, and starting out at the tail end of the number nine car is Brian Quinlan out of turn four. We're going to have a green flag this time. We're going to go racing. Bob 
Boucher nudges to an early lead and followed by Steve Potter. And now Potter and Lewis side by side as Boucher jumps to a two. Carling lead after one lap. Matt Hughes trying to make a move into third down low as the number two car drops all the way back. Bob Boucher on the point. Steve Potter is second, Matt Hughes third. Brian Quinlan has moved all the way up to fourth place after starting on the tail end. And some of the quicker cars have gone right to the back of the pack in this second street stock semifinal. working the Sideworks car up on top right now. Steve Potter chasing him down at second place. Hughes being passed on the outside now by Brian Quinlan as we got him three wide out of turn two. Old Brutus and Legere sandwiching the number two car. Brad Boucher leads them around. Charlie Lewis has dropped all the way to the back of the field. And they're all stretched out now down the back chute. As we're going to get the crossover flags at this time, that signals the halfway point of the race. And Bob Boucher only hopes there won't be a caution this time. That cost him the first heat this evening. He had that one all wrapped up. And it looks like Brian Quinlan making yet another move, trying to move into second place, going down low on the five car, out of turn four. Boucher is going to be tracked down by the number nine car. Brian Quinlan, the fastest car out there in this event, has moved all the way up to second place and now sets his sights on number one. The nine car will close in on the 78, but can he get around him and does he have enough time? Waiting for the 78, Bob Boucher to make a mistake. Quinlan looks to the low side and almost gets his nose in, but wisely backs out. He still has two more laps to make the move. This could be a very exciting finish as Quinlan gets down low, gets a fender in the 78 car, and they are side by side trading some paint through one and two. Side by side down the back shoe. We're going to see a white flag next time around. Brian Quinlan, Bob Boucher, here we are at B. Quinlan has the advantage out of turn four. Can Boucher turn the tables and get low on the nine car? As they enter turn one, Boucher tries to make the move low, and he's in second place. Now we'll have to catch the nine car to make a move to get back on top. Making a move for third is Matt Hughes on the outside of the five car. Brian Quinlan brings it home in the nine. The Transtech MFM Industries car takes home the win for Brian Quinlan. Bob Boucher ends up in second place. And, and Bob is sponsored by Universal Auto Body, Haywood Honda, DuPont Automotive Refinishes, Quaker State, Moncton Ross Check Center, Sign Works, from the Oxygen and Atlantic Compressed Air. And Quinlan, your winner, the MFM Industries, Transtech Automobile. I take this opportunity to make Velma Miller welcome to the Speedway tonight. Visitors all the way from the province of Ontario. Good to see him back on the track again. Another familiar blue Dodge automobile, the 28 automobile for Mr. Mopar, Jim McPherson. On the pole position this time, Keith Lewis in the 31. The 5 is Johnny. Good a green flag this time. Semi final for the Sportsman Division. Lewis on the point. We're going racing. Your leader. 
In the 31, Doug White looks to the inside. In the 92, Pete sticks the Pizza Hut Buick to the front out of turn number two. Norm Dryden in the 51 now looks to the inside of rookie Keith Lewis. And Dave Milburn in the 19 is on the move as well. John, new number, and a new insight for Norm Dryden, the 34-year-old driver from Steve's Mountain. As we go semifinal racing one more time here in the Budweiser division. So Dryden will move up the ladder in the points as well. The Hot Country CFQM feature. These cars trying to be the final qualifiers for that event coming up later in the program. Ten lap semifinal, they're coming out to the number four. for Adam Pond, Oldsmobile for Dan Duke on the outside, Dodge Avenger for Bill McLean, a Pontiac for Terry Chiners and for Roger Sears. And Adam Pond assumes the lead in the Mucton Auto Auction machine number 78. He'll point it down the back straight away in the top position. Machine. The battle is for third. Terry Charters on the outside in the six. Bill McLean on the inside in the 14. Halfway flags are up this time by. Five complete. Five to go. Adam Pond, your leader, stretching it out down the back straightaway. But a six car length lead over second place, Dan Duke. Terry Charters solidly down in third. Bill McLean is fourth. Roger Sears, wide shotgun on the field. Your race 
race leader headed for the win. Two to go, this time by the pair number four. Second generation driver from the pond, two car racing team is headed for victory in the period number four. Checkered side, pond will take it home. Dave Van Duke for second, Charters for third, it'll be Bill McLean in fourth, and Roger Sears caps out the five, fifth position. Form as he comes to line your semi-final winner, Adam Pond in the 78. If your diesel is giving you problems, you may want to see Riverview Truck Repair Limited. See Truman Cop and the well-qualified staff. They're your heavy-duty diesel specialist. Riverview Truck Repair Limited, 405 Pine Glen Road in Riverview. He's coming up to cap off the program. Sandy Gillis, Gary Maxwell, and all the good folks from CFQM, Dave Richardson, the mayor of Riverview, they're going to come out and compete here voluntarily. Mike got it on the point, but it's turn number four for going right there. in the lead in the 02 automobile points the Thunderbird to the front down the back straightaway rookie Dan Burke in second Herman Barry Jr. in third Paul Lewis the veteran is fourth Jim Dunham is fifth Super battle between the Fords and the GMs here in the top five. Garnett and Dunham and Fords. GMs for Herman Barry, Dan Burke and Paul Lewis and Ken McKenzie is on the move in the 8-5 in hot pursuit in the 15 sets his sights on the lead but Smurf is strong in the 0-2 as he duels with Herman Berry Jr., the Lounsbury Volvo machine. Down the back straightaway one more time as Garnett and Burke duel for the lead. The back is for third. Tim McKenzie on the outside, Herman Berry Jr. on the inside. Dave Mullins right in the thick of the things in the 55. So is rookie campaigner Dave Oblinas in the 48. Thunderbird shows the way with Dan Burke in the erratic Reman machine in hot pursuit. 85 of Ken McKenzie now solidly in third, but Dave Mullins is right on his rear bumper and Mullins now looks to the inside out of turn number two. Super battle for third position, McKenzie, Mullins, and Oblitas. White flag is down, just one more lap to get the job done. Lloyd Garnett, your leader, Dan Burke in second. The battle for third between McKenzie, Mullins, and Oblitas is going to come right to the line in a pair number four. Chuckered flag for Lloyd Smurf Garnett. It's second of the evening. Dan Burke.
Black will come home to second. Ken McKenzie for third. Dave Mullins in fourth. And rookie Dave Oblinas caps out the top five. Super exciting racing action here in the Budweiser Late Model Sportsman Division. Very, very special surprise for everyone here. You've never experienced this treat before. Probably never will again. Don't go away. Lloyd Garnett headed for Victor Lane, the DM Auto Body Rapid Ran Ideal Muffler Machine. Let's hear it for him one more time. The Smurf in the O2 in Victory Lane. 20 green flag laps of street stock competition. They'll rev them up through the 3 4 turn. Come flying at you to turn number 4. Here come the street stock. Jr. into the wall on the box straight away. Back under power one more time. And the go number 12. And Eugene Weagle is your leader. Kathy trites off the face of the 24. Falls to the inside and to the rear of the pack as Eugene Weagle leads them down the back straight away. Weagle looking for his first feature checkered in the 75. serious pile up in turn number two. I can't believe it. Everyone came away still running. It's the amazing Hayes Gorgland is your leader. Charge and Charlie North takes it high wide and hands it around in turn number four. Once again, caution flag out, but everyone gets away. Zork Lamp takes the lead just as several cars mix it up over in turn number four. And if our celebrity drivers weren't nervous before, after watching that, they're probably getting a little bit antsy down there in the grandstand area. Because it's CFQM celebrating the twin 100s brought to you by Budweiser for the late model of sportsman division. Looks like we're going to go green one more time. Give them a look at a turn number four one more time. Street stock feature. We're going racing. One more time, heads into the lead, down the back, straight away. Jim Beaman in the 92, up to second. Eugene Weagle in the 75 is third. By Blaston, Bob Boucher is on the move in the 78 automobile. Boucher looks for the outside of Eugene Weagle. The battle is for third as we speak, down the back, straight away. The amazing Dean Morgan and your race leader.
Jim Beeman, the United Bookstore Chevrolet, your leader, Hazor Galanti in second, Bob Boucher is third, damnably the fourth, Quinlan Vick in the nine. from the street stock division at Jim Beam and is your leader. feature coming at you next up on the program. Give the field a look, they'll rather up to the 3-4 turn. Green flag is up to us on the point. One more time, we're going to go racing. 
Sí. Everybody shifting to the three, four, two, there we are. I'm wiping the loose. It must be a little moisture down over there. The White will take the lead in the 92 as Lewis drops back on the outside. Lloyd Garner looking for room on the outside in the 02 automobile. Obviously still a little dampness on the track as they stretch it out down the back straightaway. Tiffy toe time one more time to the 3 4 -ter. Doug White on the inside, Lloyd Garnett on the outside, Buick on the inside, Ford on the outside. from a week ago as the GM Auto Body Ford Thunderbird shows the way. The 0-2 of Boyd Garnett, Doug White in second, Dan Murphy is third, Herman Berry Jr. is fourth, and L.Z. Beeman in fifth position in the 14 automobile.
complete and four to go. The star by 16 down and four to go. than those cars that were going around. That was a Marie Boston up here cheering for the second place man, Jim Dunham. We're going to try to get him around here, talk to him and the third place man here. Once again, the rookie sensation here, kind of compared with Jeff Gordon here, doing a super job again tonight. You've already got a couple of feature wins, and now a third place tonight. A little tighter quarters, though. Yeah, she's a lot tighter here when the track's wet, I'll tell you. How was it? We noticed some dampness just the early laps. Some guys were getting a little bit loose, but it seemed to come around about 15 laps in. Yeah, about 10 to 15 laps in, the track started coming. The tires finally started to get enough traction that we could go on the outside, and uh, we are just hoping to keep her off the wall. Good third place finish. Let's hear it for Dave Oblitas in the 48, the GM Goodrent service machine. In second place, as again, as I said, the only thing louder than the cars was Marie busting up there cheering. The 44, happy birthday, Marie. And I know who wants to say that. Marie, happy birthday. <laughs> Way to go, Jim. Super strong finish again for second. Two fours, one and two. Got to be happy. Not bad, not bad. Fords are putting on a show. Way to go. They put one on yesterday in Indianapolis. Decided to do it again today, right? Oh, it, it all helps. I understand Pat's going to pay a million, too. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think so. Wait, let's hear it one more time for the 44 car, Jim Dunham. And we'll get over and get a couple of words with the, with the winner. Patty <laughs> Banks. Radio station. We need Patty Banks from the radio station to come make the presentation, please. Patty Banks, would you come on down? And we need all our celebrities, too. I think they may have gone pit side, so if you are a celebrity you're running in the next race and you're not over there, you probably should get there. And we'll jump in there and get a couple of words with the Smurf. Two in a row, and two forwards at the front. What's happening, Lloyd? Oh, just beginner's luck, maybe. <laughs> you said it's kind of hanging together a little better. You were having problems early in the season. Uh, throttle hanging up, they tell me. That and brake parts. <laughs> Breaking parts. Can't keep brakes on it, too? Well, I broke them there one week. <laughs> exactly. But you got it together two in a row. Going to try to do it for a three-peat next week? I didn't likely, but, you know. <laughs> Picked up a win in Fredericton, too, I understand. Yeah, we get one. Way to go. Let's hear it one more time. The Smurf, Lloyd Garner in Victor Lane in the 02 Automobile. What's your name? Tell me. A little shy. What's his name? Christopher. This is Christopher and? Frank. Frank, how you doing, guys? charity of their choice to give it to. So it's just kind of an extra wrinkle here and a great way for these competitors to honor someone here tonight by giving away that money. Never see it here again. It has something to do with revenge, I will tell you that. And I'll explain it to you momentarily what it's going to be. Once again, don't forget, coming up next weekend, a full program of racing activity here at the Speedway. 
It'll be Lounsbury Chevrolet's Geo Night, full program, Sportsman and Street Stock. It'll be Gare Maxwell. He's going to drive the Homestead Restaurant Monte Carlo of Ken McKenzie, who was the 1995 point champion here at the Speedway. Been one driver change. Car number 41 will not be Dan Barton. It's going to be Peter Perry from CFQM, and he's going to drive the 41 car. And I believe the car's even been subbed. It's not going to be Jim Taze's car. It's going to be Pat Rogers' car that Mike drives. JR from CFQM, of course, will pilot car number... 20, I believe, the Francis Plumbing and Heating Machine of Azor Glan. Car number 50 will be Steve Power. He's driving the Steel Mart Oldsmobile of Dandu. And Scotty Horseman will drive car number 27, the Caledonia Waste Oil Street Stock of Danny Chapman. Dave Richardson out of Riverview uh, will drive the Citywide Delivery Machine of Herman Berry, Jr. And Steve Milburn out of CFQM will be driving Tim Rogers' Buick number 19 that... Uh, was driven tonight uh, by Dave Milburn. And Dan Barton will drive car number 92 of Doug White. size 20. Yeah. JR tried to get out of it. Drivers up to the start finish line, please. All the drivers, you come right up here to the start finish line, please. Come on down, the price is right, trust me. Could we have all the drivers right up here at the start finish line, please? Once again, we appreciate the good folks from CFQM and CKCW and Dave Richardson, of course, the Mayor of Riverview, for being on hand. The special events crews are also here. And we got some special guests here tonight. We're just going to take a couple of moments to talk to them. We're going to tell you what our surprise is all about. And this is, like I say, it's never been done here before. Undoubtedly, will be never done here again. But I'm going to tell you, there's a bunch of guys right in front of me who are probably the best sports in the sport. And we're going to see how good of sports they are. Now, if I can get everybody to crowd in right around me real tight, do we have all the drivers here? Okay. I hope you guys are in your best voice. Because two things have happened here tonight. Steve Penapa is not racing with you tonight because you growled about him last year, okay? As they say in the Mayor Machine, you growled him. So he wants to wreak revenge on you. And I also forgot my national anthem tape. So guess what you guys get to do? You get the crowd around me, this Michael. We'll wait out to the air real good. And Dave Richardson, you sing bass, Dave? I thought so. Yeah. Sandy's going to sing first tenor. Uh, JR is just going to basically lip sing, I think. <laughs> He's going to play the violin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, would you please now rise for the singing of our national anthem? Carry real well. <laughs> Shirley's here. Shirley Myers is here. Shirley Myers is where? From Nashville. Tennessee. Shirley Myers, come on down, right down here. Hey, these guys will do anything to get out of singing the national anthem. Come on down here. She's been singing "Oh Say Can You See" so long she probably doesn't remember "Oh Canada." <laughs> hey, Gary Maxwell just gets a big pat in the back from everyone here because they didn't want to do this. Steve Pettipaw is ready to kill me. I remember Shirley Myers when she was just a little gal. She used to come sing for us at Seaside Chevrolet every year for our annual introduction of vehicles. So come on down here. We're going to put you right on the spot tonight. I promise I won't sing, and these guys definitely don't want to sing. 
Okay. Everybody's going to sing, including Shirley, they tell me. Gentlemen. Okay. Society. So, hope you'll cheer me on too. All right. As you go on by. Woo! Now, unaccustomed to public speaking as I am, it's nice to see you. Uh, listen, I'm going to be so far way back when we're starting, eh? They're going to be passing me once or twice, so don't be worried about the money. If I do happen to win, we're going to give it to the friends of the Moncton Hospital in Moncton. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show, boys. Hi, Peter Perry from CFQM. Uh, when I win this race, uh, the money will be going to the United Way. Hello there, I'm Scotty Horseman from CFQM, and I'd just like to point out that uh, Jimmy the janitor only has his tractor's license. He doesn't have a real license, so I may have to look into this. Uh, I don't... I'm just planning to... Uh, finish the race, but uh, should I finish number one, I think uh, I'd like to donate the money towards the fight against MS. Thank you. Hi, I'm Steve Milburn, and if I'm fortunate enough to win, I'm going to donate the money to uh, the Friends of the Moncton Hospital, and namely because Tim Rogers told me if I smash his car up, I'll probably be spending a few days there. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Steve Power from CKCW. If I win, I'm going to change my name to Scott Horseman. And uh, also a, a, a fund that uh, is dear to my heart and for friends of all of us here tonight and my family as well. The Canadian Cancer Society will hopefully reap the benefits of my victory tonight. Thanks. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gary Maxwell from CKCW CFQM Radio. Woo, driving <laughs> in the... Number 10 position with number 85, Kenny McKenzie's car, part of the Homestead Restaurant Racing Team. That's the standard sponsor plug. Anyway, it's a real, uh, I want to take a moment to thank Pat and Shelley Rogers for uh, putting this on here at Riverglade Speedway. 
because I know uh, the guys really look forward doing, to uh, doing something like this, and it's a whole lot of fun just being out with all these uh, familiar faces, and uh, we're all looking forward to the challenge. Should I be fortunate enough to overcome insurmountable odds, starting from the last position and win this race <laughs> against some most worthy competition, then it'll be my pleasure, believe me, to donate the proceeds to the friends of the Moncton Hospital. Thank you very much, and good racing, everyone. Thank you, Gare. The only thing quicker on the track tonight than the cars is the quick wit, wit of these gentlemen here. And this is one time I wish I could clap my hands together because they did a super job of the national anthem. Let's get them in the cars and get underway. Let's have one more time for our great list of celebrities here tonight at the Speedway. I'm going to head back to the tower where it's safe. I will not be in the infield tonight. The CFQM Country Cruiser, Hot Country, 103.9, leading the field down the back chute. Test one two. Peter Perry of CFQM dropping off his extra passenger at the pit gate. Once again on the point, and as long as the last number 20 will be JR from CFQM. Starting outside in the 19 is Steve Milburn representing CFQM as well. Inside of row two in the 10 is Mayor Dave Richardson of Riverview. And outside in the 41, Peter Perry of CFQM. Now some of them are going to try out the turns at speed. Make sure they know what to expect when they head into the turn full tilt. You may take note of the drivers standing below the start starting tower. Many of them very nervous and uh, wondering if their cars will come back in one piece. Some of them may be heading uh, tomorrow afternoon to Miramichi City Speedway in Douglastown for the 7th Annual Brunswick 100. The 19 car that you see on the point actually won that Brunswick 100 one year. I believe that was four years ago when Tim Rogers was driving that car. The 7th Annual Brunswick 100 tomorrow afternoon in Miramichi City. The Budweiser Sportsmen's and Street Stocks combining in this event with celebrity drivers. And Tighten it up, get in line, because we're going to have a green flag momentarily. Assistant starter Steve Pettipoff slowing the field down. The 92 car, that's going to be driven by CJCW's Dan Barton, will have to hurry to catch up to the rear of the field. Further on back in the field, Steve Power of CFQM will be driving the 50. The 27, normally driven by Dan Chapman. The won a race earlier tonight will be driven by Scotty Horseman of CFQM. The 85 car, that's last year's point champion car, will be piloted by Gary Maxwell, a very familiar sports voice in the Greater Moncton area. 
And it sounds like everyone's favorite from the round of applause he got earlier and the recognition he has, of course, Sandy Gillis, uh, a.k.a. Jimmy the Janitor, will be driving the 59 car driven by Dan O'Blinas, and normally the Gutter Pro Mama Sweets Malibu. And we think maybe Dan Barton wants to start way back there, so we're going to have to stop them so he can catch up. The car will go faster, Mr. Barton. <laughs> Gas pedal to the right, brake to the left. <laughs> These drivers will send off, and we'll be seeing, hopefully, a green flag next time around. Scotty Horseman, of the, driving the 27 car, may need a push. Maybe Steve will have to stay up there and give some directions during the entire race, we're not sure. Maybe we'll have two races. We've got some on the back stretch and some on the front stretch. If you are just coming in to the grandstand area, this is not a typical start for a race here at River Glade Speedway. And you may notice the street stocks are mixed in with the sportsmen's. The starters are telling the field to catch up because we're going to have a green flag momentarily. So unless they want to start very far to the rear, they better catch up. This time around, let's give them a send off. Grab your hat and give them a wave or give them a wave of your hand. Next time. Give them all a wave and cheer them on because it looks like we're going to have one more pace lap. Give them a wave anyway. Let them know that you're cheering for them as they go by. Make lots of noise so they can hear you. Come on, let's hear you. They got to hear you above those engines as they rev them down the front chute. It looks like we'll have a green next time by. <laughs> this is scheduled to be a 10 lap event. We don't know. <laughs> Starter surveying the field. Ken Brace with the green flag off. Next time by for the celebrity CF1 race. We're going to go racing. Jumping off to the lead very quickly. Steve Milburn. gasps in the tower of all cars to hit the wall. Peter Perry CFQM number 41 collects the one-two wall. That car is owned by the promoter of this speedway and is not normally driving here, but it looks like it won't be driving here for a while again. The well, one thing you don't want to do is wreck the promoter's car, but it's just been done. <laughs> Peter Perry has put the 41 car by Pat Rogers into the wall over in turns one and two. And as soon as we have that situation rectified, we'll try this all over again one more time. Just some of the exciting street of Moncton. We appreciate their sponsorship here at the Speedway. It's their night next weekend. Full program of Street Story, the Oval of Excitement. And now Peter Perry can go home and tell his whole family how he finished first here in the celebrity race. Although not finishing, heads over to turn two, gives him a wave and keeps right on going. his spot and a warm round of applause from the fans and the cars on the hook in the back chute heading back over to meet its owner I'm pretty sure Peter Perry is very anxious to go over and say hi to Pat 
<laughs> Maybe we should head on over there with a the mic and listen to the conversation as it ensues. He's going to have to do some heavy work to that vehicle to get it ready for tomorrow afternoon's race in Miramichi City. That means go, number 20. JR, that is a go in 10.39 laps, I'm infor informed, and that was the point three, and we're ready to go for 10 more. And that's, that might be as well as they get bunched up, I don't know. We'll have the field tightened up, Mr. Starter, and we'll be ready for a green once the field is lined up properly. The Francis Plumbing and Heating, uh, number 20 on the point. He's our Gallant Street Stock. I think some of them think they're racing already out there. When you see the green, you go. And this time we're going to get a green flag from Ken Brace. He says, let him go. Let him race. And jumping out quickly, Steve Milburn, once again in the 19, takes over the top position. Steve Milburn and Dave Richardson right now are one and two. Richardson driving the... Is that your honorable, Mr. Richardson? Or Dave, uh, driving number 10. And your honor is... Oh, look at that. A little dirty politics in turn one. Collecting the 19 car. Oh, and he almost goes around. Certainly never using those tactics in an election bid, but on the racetrack, look out for Dave Richardson in the number 10. Right now in third is Steve Power representing CFQM. A tight battle at the back of the pack between the 27 and 59 car. Watch those when they go high because that wall comes up on you in a hurry. Steve Milburn of CFQM driving the quick 19 car. And maybe Mr. Rogers will want to put him in that car tomorrow afternoon in Miramichi. One more time by for the 19 of Steve Milburn in the lead. The 92 car, Doug White's 92, is up high, coming out of third four. Dan Barton getting a real close-up view of the wall there that time around. Meanwhile, what a run by Steve Milburn. He looks like he's going to start lapping the field. Goes down low on the 92. Dave Richardson is still hot on his tail in the 50 as we get the halfway mark. We're five laps down, five laps remaining in the CF2M Hot Country Celebrity Race. Taking the short way around in one and two is the 27 of Scotty Horseman of CFQM. I think he just wanted us to say his name, so he went off on the infield for a little excursion. Richardson getting sideways out of turn four. Certainly not scared of speed at all. Right now hung up in traffic as the 19 car. It might give the 10 a chance to catch up. Four. Steve Milburn gets loose down the front and sideways goes the 85. He'll have to get that car refired and out of the way. And we don't even know if he knows exactly what to do down there. He's just sitting in on the front chute. And right now the battle for the lead and the 85 car comes around. Preventing a caution, look at the battle for the lead between the 19 and the 10. This is going to go right down to the wire. Steve, Steve Milburn in the 19 car representing CFQM takes home the victory. Dave Richardson driving Herman Berry's 10 comes home in second place. And I have absolutely no idea who finished third. send it over to Cyril Trackside for an interview. If these drivers realize that flag means to stop, well, he'll get out there and interview the winning driver. 
That's Steve Milburn of CFQM. Steve Milburn of Carbon 19! Milburn on a CFQM taking his honor lap around the speedway. Did a super job there in the 19th. So did Dave Richardson in the 10. A super, super job by these competitors tonight. Celebrity race time courtesy of CFQM here at the Speedway. Don't forget, one week from tonight here at the Speedway, full program, Lyles Bruce Chevrolet's Geo Night. On behalf of Pat and Shelly Rogers, we wish you a good night and a safe journey home. We'll get a couple of words with our winner just momentarily and review the charity of his choice. Victor Lane, Steve Milburn getting unstrapped. And as soon as we get him out of the car, get a couple of pictures taken by Gary Ward. We'll get a couple of words with him and find out once again the charity of his choice and where the $400 will go, courtesy of the good folks here at River Glade Speedway. Chevy has the big check, and we're just waiting to get a charity name written on it momentarily. Here, yeah, the Maritime Engine Technology car was going good today, right, Steve? Boy, that Maritime Engine car was doing great today. <laughs> also sponsored by OS Sport. Super job, Steve. Again, the charity of your choice. Uh, the Friends of the Moncton Hospital. <laughs> it's an interesting thing, too, that most of these guys are on-air personalities. Steve is the guy who brings the bucks home to the station because he's in advertising. So, of course, tonight he brought home the bucks once again. Let's hear it one more time for Steve Milburn to number 19. And we also thank... Earl and all the crew from the 19 of Tim Rogers for allowing this to happen here tonight. The Maritime Engine Technologies, ON Sports Chevrolet.